Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, uh, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I appreciate you all so, so very much. Today I am doing my next episode of my Simply Sample series in which I choose some samples, I utilize them for a couple weeks, I come back to you, I talk to you about my thoughts, my feelings, my experiences, and then we pull some new samples. Today, these are the samples that I'm going to go over with you and they're all like little tiny foil samples. I decided last week while I was picking that I was just going to fill for little tiny paper samples because I'm tired of the paper samples in my collection. And I think I got some good ones to talk to you guys about. Um, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, you're definitely in the right place. So let's just roll into talking about them. The first thing I'm gonna go over with you is the hair product. And we're getting into a place where we may not be pulling hair product much any longer, but we do have this. This is the Kerastase Nutritive Nectar Thermonique. This is a polishing, nourishing milk. That sounds disgusting. Blow dry care. So it's a heat protectant, right, for your hair. I don't use heat on my hair, I don't, because Number one, I'm already damaging it as much as I possibly can by putting 15 different colors on it in every eight week rotation, right? So there's that. But I do like a good leave-in conditioner. I like my hair to feel good. I like my hair to feel healthy and look shiny. And this really did a bang up job. So, oh. I just, there's enough in here for quite a few uses, just saying, depending on how much you like to put on your hair. I don't really use much. I was just trying to pull some out so that you guys could see the consistency of it and ended up pulling out so much. But this is what it looks like. It's just a white cream uh, that is really rather light. It goes in very, very well. It doesn't stay sticky it does it it's super lightweight is what i'm trying to get at here and because it's so lightweight you can also use it as just a plain old leave-in conditioner i will say that it smells so good i would use it again i think it's got a little bit of a floralness to it but not like an awful floralness to it and as far as like a leave-in process it's not like super slimy I mean it is soft it is silky but it's not like slimy you're not gonna like feel it on your hair for days afterwards you might smell it on your hair for days afterwards if you don't wash it right away but it smells good so <laughs> there's that and this coming from me who likes to describe all the smells all the time like I said it's it's not so I think it's got a little bit of floral to it but I can't like pinpoint the floral I want to say maybe like irises lilies I'm not really sure it leaves your hair shiny it looks super smooth it helps with frizz I feel like it has the consistency of a lotion which you guys saw as I was rubbing it into my hand it does look like a lotion as well and it works super well as a leave-in conditioner which is how I used it it does have a 4.7 star rating at Sephora it is a $39 item for 5.1 ounces or you can get 1.7 ounces for $18 as well I think I would rather pay the $39 for five ounces because $18 for less than half that seems ridiculous to me. Um, so I would probably pay the $39. I mean, I've heard a lot of great things about said company. So I think that it's not going to be something that damages your hair. I really liked looking through their products that they have on their own website as well. They seem like a very good company. I would I would purchase it again. I, I definitely would and I'm keeping the little packet because there's so much in here that I could be using it for the next eight years probably. <laughs> it's pretty great. Gives my hair some shine which which I love. It also cuts down on the frizz which I love and doesn't strip my hair which I also love. <laughs> So the next item is this. It is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. 
So if you're all familiar with my channel, you know how I feel about Juice Beauty. It's not necessarily my favorite skincare line. I can't stand the smell of these products. I really can't. And they even came out with like this green apple kind of skincare line that was supposed to smell like apples. It just doesn't. It smells awful. It all smells awful. It all smells awful to me. Well, this one didn't smell like fish and old lady. This one did have like this I don't know, lemon pledgy yet ginger <laughs> smell to it. I don't know. It was so, so weird. So, you know, you go, you get some Chinese food and you're eating sweet and sour chicken and chow mein. That's what it smells like. Only cleaning product all sucked in there too. Some good things I can say about it is it, it is vegan. It is cruelty free. They use botanicals from uh, fruit and uh, flowers and earth, earthy stuff to replace water or excess water in their products, which I think is fantastic. Like they really do think about the products that they're putting into their stuff, but because of that, there it tends to not smell the best for some people, for people like me. So uses organic base of botanical juices instead of water is what I'm trying to get at here. It comes in at 4.5 stars at Ulta, so there is a whole lot of people that love Juice Beauty. I'm just not one of them. I do feel like it went onto my face and it was rather nice. It kind of felt like a lotion, so it was super lightweight. While I say that, also know that because it felt like a lotion was super lightweight, I don't feel like it was super hydrating. It is a moisturizer. It should be hydrating a little bit more than I felt like it was. I also feel like, even though it wasn't as hydrating, it felt like a lotion, it sunk in, it wasn't super sticky, I couldn't feel it on my face, I felt like the day that I wore this towards the middle of the day, my skin looked so oily, and I am not an oily girl, I am a dry girl, so it was the weirdest thing, and it was the only time that that happened, and I was wearing this, I had put this on my face, so I have to imagine it comes from this. This is $70 for 1.7 ounces, and I will never tell you that I think that Juice Beauty is worth it, ever. It's just not me, it's just not my preference. But if you love Juice Beauty, I would still say that this isn't worth it. Because halfway through the day, like I said, I'm a dry girl, it made my skin look oily, and halfway through the day I realized, or even immediately after putting it on, I realized that it just didn't feel as moisturizing as I thought it should be for a moisturizer. So not my favorite, wouldn't pay for it. The next thing I have is this, which I'm not even sure where I got this sample. This is the Premier by Dead Sea Premier Prestige Milk and Honey Aromatic Body Butter. This was so good. I loved this stuff. I actually did look it up because I'm thinking about purchasing it. This is made from cold pressed oils and Dead Sea Minerals. It's super thick in consistency, much like a body butter is. It's not like a lotion. It's not like a, a thick cream. Well, it is like a thick cream, but it's like a body butter. It's felt like that anyways. This really silky texture to it and it went on so smoothly. It made my skin look soft, feel soft, and hydrated right from the get. Uh, there was enough in here to do my hands and my arms up to my shoulders and across my chest. There wasn't much more than that in here, but I felt like my hands really needed the hydration and I felt like this really produced that for me. It almost felt like a body oil at first because it kind of like sat on the skin like a body oil does and makes your skin all like shiny and supple, but it didn't have that oily texture that a body oil does. It's so very strange and I'm not exactly sure how to even explain it to you, but it also felt super good. That's what it looks like. This is what it looks like, like rubbed in. So do you see the like shiny texture of it? It actually looks like an oil of some sort when you're first putting it on, but then it just sinks in. It doesn't get like all kinds of like gross and sticky or slimy on your skin. And it smells so good. Not like super perfumed, but also not not perfumed. I It's nondescript. I couldn't tell you what that smell is. I'm not exactly certain of it. It's very floral. It's just not 
like offensive floral. It even has less offensive floral to it than like Kerastase is does. So I don't know. Uh, there is a 4.9 star rating on their own website. That's the only place I was able to find it, which leads me to again asking, I don't know how I got this sample. I'm not sure where I got it from. It's $50, $49.99 for six ounces. I mean, six ounces is a whole lot of product. It really is. And $50 isn't bad. I would purchase it. I actually went on the hunt to potentially purchase it. I do have a lot of body butter over there. I'm going to use that first, but this might be one that I, that I purchase in the future. The next thing I have in here is this, and you know, you guys, I honestly, I don't know how I came across this either because as I'm searching, the interwebs for it. The only place I could find it that wasn't, you know, sold out or not returning was on Sephora in Singapore. So I can't even tell you how much this costs. So there's that. But this is the Burberry Fresh Glow. This is a luminous fluid base. So they have the Fresh Glow Foundation, then they have the fluid base, and then they have Fresh Glow something something. <laughs> not even sure. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And in Singapore, it's 72 American dollars. I think that's how it worked out to purchase it from Sephora Singapore. Thought about it for two seconds. <laughs> and then was like, no, I did not need it because I have a ton of other primers in here that I think are fantastic primers that I can get on my Sephora that don't cost me $72 and then I have to wait eight years to get it because it's coming from Singapore. I don't need this. This is so pretty. This is so, so pretty. It's a luminous fluid base, so it's like a luminous primer. It has this beautiful pink tone iridescent glow that it gives to your skin. And even me, who has more of like an olive complexion or golden complexion, it suited my skin so, so well. It was just so beautiful on my face. I used it on one of the days that I didn't wear foundation and got so many compliments on my skin that day. Like I could wear this every single day if those are the kind of comments that I'm going to get on a daily. This is beautiful and I would use it again, but I'm not going to go 100% into it because honestly, I couldn't find it anywhere except for on, like I said, Sephora in Singapore. I think I could find it on the Australian Sephora as well. So if you're in Sephora or if you're in Australia or Singapore, I'm telling you this is beautiful, but I'm also telling you, you can get the same kind of effects from a luminous base that doesn't cost that amount of money. I think that it's beautiful, but I think that all you're paying for really is the Burberry name and not necessarily the whole of the product. So with that said, it is lightweight. It is non-sticky. It did feel super moisturizing. It does cost $72 for one ounce of product from the Singapore website. I, d I just don't think that it's worth it. 4.8 stars on Nordstrom. A lot of people love it but I'm just not that bougie, I guess. The next thing is this also a primer. This is the Black Up. It's a mattifying primer from, I think Black Up is the company. At least that's what I get from researching it. This is a mattifying primer with kind of like a gel consistency. It is opaque for the most part, but not colored in any way, shape or form. So it doesn't have any like tinting of it for like help with color correction or anything like that. I am wearing it today because I almost forgot to wear it. I do feel like I am a little bit oily in this area where again, not an oily girl. Like I feel like I need to powder my face and I never feel that way ever. So I, I'm not wearing anything <laughs> that's different from what I would normally wear. So I have to assume it's because of this. I feel like it blurs my skin. It does have silicone in it though. It's a silicone primer and they're not my favorite, but this one didn't cause any kind of like pilling up, which I normally experience with silicone primers. So there's that. It's, it's not bad, honestly. I just feel like it, it makes me look super shiny. 
and it's a mattifying primer. And even though I'm wearing a dewy, a dewy foundation, that wet and wild dewy that is part of my project pan, even though I'm wearing that, I've never experienced this much shine with that foundation ever. So I, I have to assume it's because of this. So I'm not sure I would purchase it. Honestly, I do like very few pore filling primers, but my favorite one is the ones by Benefit. I do like the Illuminating Professional by Benefit, and this one isn't mattifying. This just isn't made for my skin, so I wouldn't purchase it because of that, but it's not bad. It's really not bad, and there was a ton of great reviews on this. This does have, I don't have a star rating on this, but it did have a ton of great reviews. It's $44 for 1.01 ounces of product. I kind of love the component. This is exactly what the component looks like as well, if you buy it in a full size, so I kind of dig that. I think it would be very like aesthetically pleasing sitting on your vanity and beyond that they used to sell it at sephora now it looks like it's sold at macy's or on its own website i wouldn't purchase it it's not something that i can you know give you a recommendation for but i'm not the right skin type and i think that that is definitely a demographic that could benefit from that as I said, there was a ton of great reviews on that product from people who do have oily skin or combination skin even. I just don't like the silicone nature of it and I really do feel like it's kind of creating an oiliness to my face that isn't typically there. The last makeup item that we have is this. It is the Giorgio Armani and this was the face fabric foundation. It's a foundation that's rather odd actually. I have a picture that I'll stick in here of what this looked like as it came out of this little foil packet here. This is in the shade uh, 5.5 and it actually suited my skin quite well. I thought it was going to be too dark because typically I'm not like a heavy medium. I'm, you know, a fair to light olive medium complected person, which is weird, but um, I typically steer more light than medium. 5.5 is typically too dark for me. This one, not so much. It's not a bad, it's not a bad shade for me. With that said, this foundation only has 12 shades. So it's an abysmal <laughs> shade selection, honestly. So 5.5, I am light and that far up on their scale of shade range. What do you think that says for the rest of the shades any darker than me so I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop that there but this foundation was rather weird to me it came out kind of almost chunky but not it, it was really moussey it just looked like it was thick it looked like so thick but once I started putting it onto my face, it actually wasn't. And I started putting it on with a sponge and then ended up using my fingers to put it on. You all know that that is not my preferred method of makeup application. So that in and of itself knocks this out of the realm of me ever wanting it. But this was beautiful on my skin. If I could get past the fact that I actually have to touch the makeup to put it on my face and make it look good because of its moussey texture, I would so purchase it. It looks so pretty on my skin. As you're blending it onto your face, it almost turns into like this, I don't know, powder? It looks like next to nothing. It looks like your skin but butter. With that said, it promotes a second skin like mentality when wearing it. Very natural. It moved with my face versus sinking into, I, man, if I could get past the fact that it has 12 shades in its range, and if I could, so abysmal, it's not ever suited in the mindset of inclusion, for sure, but also the fact that I have to put it on, on with my hands really turns me off to that. Y Y'all know that, or you should, if you're familiar with my channel. I can't get past that. I wouldn't purchase it because of those reasons, but it is beautiful. It's a beautiful foundation on my skin. So it is $49 for one ounce, I think. 
but it only has a 4.1 star rating and I can't figure that out. I think maybe it has to do with you know wrong skin type getting a hold of it and using it i do think that this is more geared towards you know a a dry to normal kind of skin type not necessarily i don't think that our oily friends out there are going to have a great time with this foundation it is a mattifying foundation i feel like it, it definitely is a blurring foundation i feel like but i just don't think that it's meant for oily friends so there's that. I would say normal to dry, natural, complected, and only if you want to use your fingers to apply it. So the last thing I have in here are these, and I did use two of the three masks that were part of this group. So these are the Duft and Doft pink masks. These are so cool. The mask in here is pink. The serum in here is pink. Not like vibrant pink, but like milky pink. Um, like strawberry milk pink there's a ton of serum in here if you go on the website it tells you to cut open the ends and use that serum on your face and your decollete and your neck prior to putting on the mask just so that you get like the full effect of the serum that they have to offer in this uh the mask fit my face so so well it has like a mesh piece to it as well so that you're not trying to pick apart this mask. The mesh piece holds every piece of the mask away from each other so it's not like sticking to each other so it's really easy to peel apart the mask to put on your face and then you just peel the mesh piece off once you have it situated on your mask, or I mean on your face. These are K-Beauty and they were the number one mask choice fave by consumers. These are rose scented. Uh, Y'all know that I'm not a fan of rose scent, but I did wear two of these masks. So obviously it's not an offensive rose scent. It's not a bad rose scent at all, as a matter of fact. Um, if I didn't know they were rose scented, I probably would not have pinpointed it as a rose scent. Floral, yes, rose, maybe not. They seem to brighten the skin they seem to make my skin look healthy afterwards even like I remember wearing it one night and then going to bed and waking up the next morning and looking at my skin and going oh my god what did I use on my face last night my skin looks amazing it was this it was this mask so these were sent to me in a six pack so I have four more and I will probably use you know them twice a week for the next you know couple weeks at least to get the full effects of the serum i loved these masks i would definitely buy more they are five dollars a piece though so on facetory i think it's called f-a-c-e-t-o-r-y they do have these and you can buy them in groups so that they come in a little bit cheaper than five dollars per but I don't know. I think I think these are really decent masks. I I would use them again. I did love them. So now I'm gonna go get the stuff ready to pull for our next couple weeks worth of samples, and I'll be right back. All right, this is my sample bins. We have hair, skin, makeup. We pull one, two, and three. So we're just gonna open this up, and we are going to dig in and pull one out because there's not much left. My camera died. So this is the Living Proof multitasking styler this the last one I got that was a multitasking styler by living proof it was the perfect hair day multitasking styler this one is TBD I'm not sure what TBD to be determined maybe I'm not sure so I guess we will try this one the last one had a gray container this one obviously is not gray so we'll try that guy and then let's look at skin for skin we have this is the Kiehl's cannabis sativa oil herbal cleansers which is interesting and then the second one is dynamic skin recovery in the age smart line by dermalogica we have some um really good skincare this week i'm super excited about that and then for makeup purchases it looks nope that is way too dark you guys see this that is a foundation by bobby brown there is no way i could wear that that is so dark why is that even in there all right 
So we have this, which is Their Real by Benefit. It is a mascara. And then we have this by Mail. This is a tinted lip product that looks very red. And then we have this which is RMS Beauty Uncover Up. I don't know if this is a concealer or a foundation. So this is RMS Beauty The Uncover Up. So we have that. All right, these are our sheet masks here. I am just going to dig in and pull one out. And it looks like we have the Cermetic vital collagen it does look like there's two in here so we have a couple of masks to utilize as well all right guys so our samples that we will be utilizing over the next couple weeks i'm actually kind of excited about we have the living proof tbd multitasking styler i don't know much about this styler versus the perfect hair day one but we will see we will see for skincare, I do have the Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Cleanser. I am using their CBD eye cream right now. Love it. Love it. And then we also have the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. I love Dermalogica products. Their Age Smart line is fantastic. So I'm super excited about that. And for makeup, we have the RMS Uncover Up. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a foundation or a concealer. It does look like they're just three little tiny foil packet pieces. So I'll be using it as a concealer regardless of what it is. It's just not enough product for me to use as a foundation. I'm positive. Uh, we also have a tinted lip crayon. I do like lip crayons. This does appear to be a very red, so we will see. And then I do have a Their Real Mascara. This is what this guy looks like, and this is actually one of my favorite mascaras by Benefit, so I already know I'm going to love this, but I haven't used it in forever, so we'll see if my opinion has changed. And then our sheet masks this week are by Cermetic. I do have two of them in here vital collagen and this one is age control multivita so i'm actually excited i love that i put sheet masks into this these days i'm having a grand old time with my sheet masks and it's a good way to get them you know moving through my collection whereas they were just taking up space because i would always forget i had them so there's that so that is my Simply Samples for today. What samples are you guys using? I would be interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on the samples that you're using. I would also be interested to hear your thoughts if you've used any of the products that I just reviewed or any of the products that I have upcoming. Please let us know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. It really does help us to, you know, not buy crap. So there's that. Um, thank you guys so, so much for coming and visiting my video today. I know that you don't have to click on my videos, so it warms my heart so, so much that you are here, that you're spending some time with me, you're watching my videos. I hope that you did like it enough that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. Really does help our channels out here. I also hope that you liked it or me enough that you're considering subscribing before you go. If you do that, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I would hate for you to miss anything if you subscribe to my channel and that's going to make sure that I'm showing up in your feed. I hope 2021 is treating you kindly. I hope that you and yours are staying healthy. I hope that you all are well and I hope that you're wearing your masks when you're out in public at least for the next couple of months just to keep ourselves safe if for no other reason. I hope that you all are loving each other but loving each other from afar and until next time bye everyone.